Hello. Welcome to my YouTube page. In this video we will walk through a straightforward Python program. In the beginning I will give you an overview of what I plan to cover, then I will switch over to Python Idle Editor, walk you through the script and then run the program in Python Shell. At the end, if you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Now let's begin. For this Python program, we will develop a computational model for computing the solution to the quadratic equation applying selection statements. With any Python computational model, the first step is to understand the problem, the second step is to find the mathematical representation or formula, then understand how to implement the mathematical model in Python, and lastly you need to have knowledge of how to test the program for correctness. Conditions are expressions that evaluate to a truth value such as true or false. Conditions are used in the selection statements. Simple conditions are formed with relational operators for comparing two data items. Compound conditions are formed by joining two or more simple conditions with logical operators. A conditional expression, also known as a Boolean expression, consists of an expression that evaluates to a truth value, true or false. A conditional expression can be constructed by comparing the values of two data items and using a relational operator. A conditional expression can be assigned to a variable and its value is of type bool. A compound conditional expression consists of one or more simple conditional expressions. The logical operators, and, or, and not are used to develop compound conditional expressions from simpler conditions. The not logical operator is applied with one simple condition. If a compound condition is defined as not, the truth value of the compound condition is simply the negation of the truth value of the simple condition. For example, when the simple condition has truth value false, the resulting compound condition has a truth value of true. The opposite also applies, when the truth value is true, the truth value of the compound condition is false. The selection program structure is also known as alternation, because alternate paths are considered, based on the evaluation of a condition. The two possible paths for the execution flow. The condition is evaluated, and one of the paths is selected. If the condition is true, then the left path is selected and process 1 is performed. If the condition is false, the other process path is selected and process 2 is performed. With the Python language, the selection structure is written with an if statement and includes three sections, the condition, the then section, and the else section. The else section is optional. The keywords that are used in this statement are if and else. When the condition is evaluated, only one of the two alternatives will be carried out, the one with the statements in process 1 if the condition is true, or the one with the statements in process 2 if the condition is false. The multipath selection involves more than two alternatives. The general if statement with multiple paths is used to implement this structure. In Python, the ELIF clause is used to expand the number of alternatives. The if statement with n alternative paths has the general form, if, ELIF, else. ELIF stands for else if. The following problem involves developing a computational model that includes a quadratic equation, which is a simple mathematical model of a second-degree equation. The quadratic equation involves complex numbers. The goal of the solution to the problem is to compute the two roots of the equation. The mathematical model is defined in the general form of the quadratic equation. The given data for this problem are the values of the coefficients in the quadratic equation, a, b, and c. Because this mathematical model is a second-degree equation, the solution consists of the value of two roots. The formula for the discriminate is b squared minus 4 multiplied by a multiplied by c. In mathematics, the discriminate is defined as a function of the coefficients of a polynomial equation whose value gives information about the roots of the polynomial. If the discriminate value is less than zero, the equation has zero real solutions and the graph does not cross the x-axis. If the discriminate value is equal to zero, the equation has one real solution and the graph touches the x-axis at one point. If the discriminate value is greater than zero, the equation has two real solutions and the graph crosses through the x-axis at two points. 
Now, let's open up the Python idle editor and compute the solution to a quadratic equation as an example of applying the multi-layer selection statements. First, start out by putting identification information for the Python file enclosed by three quotations. For the program file name, let's title it quadratic equation.py. Then the author information, and for that, I'll put my name Lewis. Next the date, which is August 2, 2022, and lastly I'll put a short description of the program. Let's describe it as this program computes the roots of a quadratic equation using multi-layer selection statements. Okay, let's get back to implementing this calculation in Python. The first thing you want to do is import the math module as this calculation requires the use of square root. Therefore, type import math as this will allow us to use the square root built-in math function. Square root is a factor of a number that, when multiplied by itself, gives the original number. Next, the given data for this problem are the values of the coefficients of the quadratic equation, a, b, and c. Therefore, we have to create input statements for each given variable. Type a equals float, open parenthesis, input, open parenthesis, quotation, then the statement, enter the value of coefficient a, colon, close the quotation, and close the parenthesis twice as there are two preceding opening parentheses. Now for coefficient b, type b, equals float, open parenthesis, input, open parenthesis, quotation, then the statement, enter the value of coefficient b, colon, close the quotation, and close the parenthesis twice as there are two preceding opening parentheses. And now do C, type C, equals float, open parenthesis, input, open parenthesis, quotation, then the statement, enter the value of coefficient C, colon, close the quotation, and close the parenthesis twice as there are two preceding opening parentheses. The input statement reads a value of a variable from the input device, in this case, the keyboard. Let's print the values of all coefficients by typing the following print statement, print, open parenthesis, quotation, then type the statement, the values of a, b, and c are, colon, close the quotation, comma, a, comma, b, comma, c, close the parenthesis. Next, let's create the formula for the discriminate. The formula for the discriminate is b squared minus 4 multiplied by a, multiplied by c. To input this formula in Python, type discriminate equals open parenthesis b double multiplication, 2, as this is how we square a variable in Python, close the parenthesis, minus open parenthesis for multiplied by a, multiplied by c, close parenthesis. In mathematics, the discriminate is defined as a function of the coefficients of a polynomial equation whose value gives information about the roots of the polynomial. Print the value of the discriminate by typing, print, open parenthesis, quotation, then type the statement, the discriminate value equals, colon, close the quotation, comma, I want to round the result to two decimal places. This is accomplished by using the round function. Therefore, after the comma, type the word round, open parenthesis, discriminate, comma 2, then close the parenthesis twice as there are two preceding opening parentheses. Now, let's input the multi-layer selection structure for each option of the discriminate value. If the discriminate value is less than zero, the equation has zero real solutions and the graph does not cross the x-axis. Type the keyword if discriminate, less than symbol, 0.0, .0 colon, press enter. I want to assign a statement to roots. To do that, I will type the word roots equals, open apostrophe, then type the statement, there are no real roots, close the apostrophe, press enter. Since there are no real roots, there is no calculation necessary and we can print the root solution statement by typing print, open parenthesis, the word roots, close parenthesis. If the discriminate value is equal to zero, the equation has one real solution and the graph touches the x-axis at one point. Type the clause ELIF, which stands for else if, discriminate, double equal signs 0.0, .0 colon, press enter. I want to assign a statement to roots for this option as well. To do that, I will type the word roots equals, open apostrophe, then type the statement, there is one real root, close the apostrophe, press enter. Since there is one real root, we have to input the following formula. Type root 1 equals open parenthesis, negative b plus math dot s q r t, open parenthesis, the word discriminate, close the parenthesis twice as there are two preceding opening parenthesis, 
divided by 2.0 multiplied by a. Print the roots solution statement by typing print, open parenthesis, the word roots and close the parenthesis, press enter and now we want to print the single root calculation solution. Type print, open parenthesis, quotation, then the statement, the one real root equals, colon, close the quotation, comma, I want to round the result to two decimal places. Therefore, after the comma, type the word round, open parenthesis, the word root 1, comma 2, then close the parenthesis twice as there are two preceding opening parentheses. Now, for the last option, if the discriminate value is greater than 0, the equation has two real solutions and the graph crosses through the x-axis at two points. Type the clause ELIF, which stands for else if, discriminate, greater than symbol, 0.0, .0 colon, press enter. I want to assign a statement to roots for this option also. To do that, I will type the word roots equals, open apostrophe, then type the statement, there are two real roots, close the apostrophe, press enter. Since there are two real roots, press enter and input the following formulas. For the first root, type root 1 equals open parenthesis, negative b plus math dot s q r t open parenthesis, the word discriminate, close the parenthesis twice as there are two preceding opening parentheses, divided by 2.0 multiplied by a. For the second root, type root 2 equals open parenthesis, negative b minus math dot s q r t open parenthesis, the word discriminate, close the parenthesis twice as there are two preceding opening parentheses, divided by 2.0 multiplied by a. Print the root solution statement by typing print, open parenthesis, the word roots and close the parenthesis, press enter and now we want to print the two root solutions. Type print, open parenthesis, quotation, then the statement, the two real roots equal, colon, close the quotation, comma, I want to round the results to two decimal places. Therefore, after the comma, type the word round, open parenthesis, the word root 1, comma 2, close the parenthesis, the word round again, open parenthesis, the word root 2, comma 2, then close the parenthesis twice as there are two preceding opening parentheses. The print statements are used for the output of variables and text strings. These output statements write the value of one or more variables to the output device. The round function returns a floating point number that is a rounded version of the specified number, with the specified number of decimal places. Okay, now let's run the module with three different solutions to show no real roots, one real root and two real roots. In the Python idle editor header, click run, then click run module. After the idle shell opens, for the no real roots example, let's input 4 for A, 1 for B, and 1 for C. The discriminate value is calculated as negative 15.0. Next, for the one real root example, let's run the module again and input 4 for A, 4 for B, and 1 for C. The discriminate value is calculated to equal 0. The one real root is calculated as negative 8.0. Lastly, for the two real roots example, let's run the module again and input 4 for A, 10 for B, and 1 for C. The discriminate value is calculated as 84.0. The two real root solutions are negative 1.67 and negative 38.33. Thank you for watching my video. If you've enjoyed this video and found it informative, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload videos to YouTube. I'll see you next week with a new Python video. Until next time, take care.